Dr. Phillips, frankly, it's been wonderful seeing two brilliant women leading the government and opposition sides in the Senate. But drill down deeper, and you said there are only two of eight opposition senators that are women, that's 25 percent. Four of 13 government senators that are women, that's 30 percent. Politicians talk a good game on gender equality, but here, when it's completely within their control, they don't deliver. Win or lose, Dr. Phillips, would you commit to nominate a slate of at least 50 percent women to the Senate? But I think we also need to understand that there are many factors that impede women's participation. The support for child care, for example, in the, in the House and Senate, and generally is one such factor. The fact that women carry a greater share of household work is also another factor. So actually getting the right level of representation is going to take more than just a commitment. We're going to have to deal with all of these other factors that really impede women's full participation. We are committed to dealing with those factors in the People's National Party. Your rebuttal, Mr. Holness. I think it's a simple thing that you can do, which is to ensure that in your recruitment, at least, you have more women. We have done that in the Jamaica Labour Party. We have did been deliberate in going out and seeking to recruit women and now we have more female candidates representing the party than ever before.